So in 2017, women yield more economic power than ever before, but when it comes to starting a business, they're still not being treated equally. In fact, research shows that female entrepreneurs are only getting about $3 in funding for every $100 their male counterparts receive. That's only 3%. And the women here today are here to help female entrepreneurs and business owners get a bigger piece of the pie. Please welcome Karen, Carolyn Leonard and Monika Black of Diamond. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, female entrepreneurship has garnered much more attention than ever before. Absolutely. And it is what you built your company on. Absolutely. Okay, so what is Diamond? Diamond is a financial empowerment firm. Uh, and our focus is on empowering women about their money. And we go into large financial institutions and we help them understand their female clients better. And out of doing presentations within the institutions, women were constantly saying after they became empowered, what next? Diamond Angels is our what next. Okay, so what is Diamond Angels? Yeah. So Diamond Angels is an angel initiative that we are launching here in Chicago to boost economically the female entrepreneurship in Chicago, female founders, they're only making $2.90 per $100 that a man makes. And if we can get more women funding women, we can close that gap. And you have a 1920 campaign? Yes, we do. 1920 was the year that the 19th Amendment was ratified that gave women the right to vote. Not all women, but it was a beginning and it was a process. So what we're doing is we're asking 1920 women throughout the United States to donate. It's a contribution, $1,000 to Diamond Angels, which will be help fund 20 female-led startups in Chicago and the Midwest. Wow, so right here locally. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you guys off camera just told me an awesome story about a woman that was funded recently out of Chicago. Can you tell everyone that? Yeah, in Chicago just recently, an African American woman was funded to a million dollars. She's the first, uh, the 15th rather, African American woman since they've been keeping statistics to get funded to a million dollars. That's wow. like 40 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so you were talking about how representation is so important. And, you know, I think about it in the media. I talk about it all the time mm -hmm. that we have to see people that look like us, everybody. Absolutely. And you're yeah. saying that, that I couldn't believe it matters also in funding. Absolutely. Absolutely. So male, most funders tend to be men. And most women who actually are capable of funding are discouraged away from funding. And for female entrepreneurs, they're solving world problems. They've got the answer that meets that female funder's needs. We've got to get more women out in front of her. And that's where the representation matters. Women are out there leading these companies. They're doing amazing jobs because they often bootstrap longer than the men because they're not getting the funding. They actually take the risk out of all those investments. And that seems twofold because you said that people invest in people that look like them as well. So it's yes. the same as media. And then um, I also read something that said, we ask men to win and women not to lose. And that goes for funding. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. So yes. we're, what do you think that means like to you guys that have been working in the field? Well, um, Monica? So I think that asking men to win and asking women not to lose is, you know, it sort of goes a little bit towards the binary. I think the goal is for everybody to win. Yeah. There's enough funding that's out there. This is not about saying women only. This is about leading through diversity, as you said, representation, all women walking through the door together. This is about women winning. At the end of the day, when she wins, her children win, the community wins, men still win. I love that. It we is so all true. Win. <laughs> we all win. I agree with yeah. that. Well, please head to diamond.com for more information. And after the break, the 